tayo dito sa Kababayan Today. Gusto ko pong basahin ang research na nahanap namin tungkol sa depression. Ang sabi nila po ay cultural stigma is cited as a main reason why there is an underutilization of mental health services for Filipino Americans. Acknowledging mental illness by seeking help is acknowledging the presence of bad blood and weakness in the entire family or clan. Hiya is a cultural value fundamental to Filipino society. So yun na nga, ikinakahiya natin na meron tayong sakit because it's perceived as you know, you're not strong. And, mm -hmm. you know, the Filipino is has this resilient spirit. Yes, diba? Yun yes. yung palaging sinasabi ang mga Pinoy. Napaka-resilient yan. Well, guess what? Over time, we will break yeah. oh, yeah, yeah. if we don't address yeah, the yeah. issues yeah. that are happening in our life. That's true. Yeah. yeah. They think it's That's a character. Fair. So, Elizabeth, did you experience this as well? Um, pag nag-sabi ka na, yun na nga, depressed ka, they, they perceive it as a character flaw? It's a character mm -hmm. flaw, yeah. And the thing is, the, it's a lack of knowledge. The stigma, I think, is coming from the lack of knowledge. The mm -hmm. thing is, you wanna, if you want to learn about an illness, you would, if, you, if a loved one goes through a heart disease, you would want to learn more about heart disease. Uh -oh. The problem with mental illness, it's not considered an illness. So you do not even think of researching and learning more about it because, again, oh, wala yan. Uh, idasal magdasal na na lang yan. Ano bang problema? So it's always just considered a problem and not a medical, you know, illness. Okay. So I, I went through that and I thought of that. I stigmatized my own condition yeah. and because I was ashamed of it. And even when my family, I opened up to about my depression, but I don't think they knew how to react. Yeah. They didn't even know. And at that time, my dad was going through heart disease, uh, a surgery. That was life-threatening. Mental illness was not considered life-threatening, where in fact, it actually is. It could be life-threatening if not taken care of. Okay. Maswerte tayo, nandito tayo sa Amerika. Yes. Kasi yes. kung nasa Pilipinas tayo, yeah. di ba, sino pwedeng tawagan? Uh, at the Department of Mel Mental Health, there is a hotline that you can call at merong... Uh, Pilipino na makakausap. That's true. Yun yung pinaka-importante po. Uh, just in case, the number is 1-800-854-7771. Please share this number with anyone that you feel is going and battling through depression. Let's not judge it. Uh -huh. You know, yes. uh, because lahat tayo Meron tayong issues, di ba? Yeah. Oh, tayo. All of us yeah. have issues. Uh -huh. And because we're here in America, we should take advantage of the services uh -huh. that That's we true. have. Right, Adrian? That's true. That's true. At saka yung access na sinabi mo, mm -hmm. yung access number na yan, it's 24-7. So any time of the day or night, pwede kayong tumawag. Pagkatapos, sabihin lang ninyo na, kunwari, hindi kayo masyadong nakaka-ingles. Sabihin nyo, Tagalog. Alam, ng, alam namin ng access, alam nila Tagalog. So, kukuha agad ng uh, Tagalog-speaking person na makakausap ninyo. So, we could help you, you know? And we have other languages, pero importante na yun na malaman ninyo na, na nanagalog din kami, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, e, eto naman ang tanong. Dahil ang Pilipinas has a 111 dialects, mm -hmm. let's face it, meron bang Ilocano? Me, Ilocano... Yeah. Uh, maaring wala. Oo, kasi di ba Pero marami... Tagalog muna. Tagalog, Tagalog muna. muna. Oo. Pag nakuha mo na yung Tagalog, sabihin mo na gusto mo mag magtanong kung merong Ilocano. Ilocano. Maaring ilo merong Ilocano. Or Bisaya. Bisaya. Or... Bisaya. Oh, oh. Sa palagay ko, Ilocano meron yata. Tsaka oh. Bisaya. Pero I can't remember. Oh, oh. You know? But it's, it's important also because yeah. language uh, plays a big factor for us yes. to open up yeah. about our situation. Yes. Yes. Okay. Can I also wrong? add yeah. um, that a lot of people do not have insurance, and so it's always like, how do I even see a doctor? How do I even see, you know, a therapist? Oh, oh, so, mahal yan. Mas yeah. lalaki pa yung problema ko yeah. kasi wala akong perang pambayad dyan. Exactly. Paano na? Parang, at saka hindi na, ba, wala na yan. Bali, wala. Parang kakalimutan mo na naman. So another option mm -hmm. is, like um, Adrian said, there are, you know, churches that you can go to. There are support groups for free. And so support groups are available in some churches now. And you can look up online. And these support groups, sometimes it actually helps to be around the people who know 
the same symptoms that you're going through. All right. And it's very, so they get, they can be very empathetic. Okay. Mm -hmm. that yeah, is. So, so it helps. there are depression groups. Yeah, there are yes. a lot of support yes. groups. Yes. So yes. it's free, it's yes. available, you can talk to anyone. That's okay, true. gusto kong That's makahanap true. ng depression group para sa mga Pilipino. Kasi alam naman natin sa kultura uh, natin, importante yeah. yung mapag-usapan natin yung mga issue natin bilang Pilipino Oh. with other Filipinos, and that's oh. why this yeah. panel is so I'm important, sure yes. Yes. right? We can create our own support yeah, we group. we can create our own support. <laughs> I, I, know, I'm still, I was thinking of that. Yeah, yeah. No. You know, I was thinking of that because of what happened to me. Kasi ang depression ko, ibang klase, parang ganito eh. Parang more on the religion. Kasi wala akong anak na puproblemahin, although may asawa, which was really, really big. But, you know? Tita Norma, a lot of people are dealing also, I'm sure, with what you're doing. Yes. With yes. What Reli you're, yeah. Because religion uh, oh. plays a big factor in how oh, oh. we perceive the world, right? So when we return, uh, we'll talk more about this on Kapabayan yes. today. Yes.